I've just left Mochueca, it's behind me, heading for Durville Island. Oh, I'm pretty stoked, it's like a 40 nautical mile sail, I'm going to do it overnight. Um, it's not a lot of wind at the moment, kind of expecting a little more at about 1 o'clock in the morning, so that'll be fun. Um, but man, I'm just so happy to be out because uh, it was a pretty hectic day. I really wasn't sure if it was going to happen for a while. Um, I had a few things to do with uh, my reefing lines and stuff. I basically had to set all that up again. And um, yeah, she was a bit of a rush. The job's not 100% finished, but I'll finish it out there. Um, but yeah, it's just so good to be out. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say really. Let's go. I'll just have to pull in the first reef, uh, which is good actually. My new reefing system works well. Um, you know, always test out new stuff in the dark. It's, it's a really good decision. Um, yeah, what else to say really? Um, I'm sailing with just the main sail up. Um, just trying to keep it simple really. But yeah, life's pretty good. Good breeze, beautiful night, no clouds, heaps of stars, lots of phosphorescence. Yeah, loving it out here. Um, just, God, it's good when the boat's sailing well and yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made it. It's a good night sail. Quite interesting towards the end there. Quite a nasty sea, really. Uh, but yeah, now I think I'm going to get some sleep. I think I might, maybe I had 15 minutes all up last night. So uh, yeah, I think I'll go have like an hour's kip and there's a deer over there on that hillside you probably can't see it see. there is a deer somewhere up in there is it? no it's not, it's over there I'm going to have to get my big lens Man, I got company. There's some sea kayakers who are here. They're going to camp here, so I'm going to go and join them on shore and hang out. So I've basically just spent the day relaxing and um, eating good food and feeding the food scraps to the friendly eels that live in the creek that runs next to the um, little campsite there. Stacy arrived in his boat with his girlfriend Haley. This meant that it was time to play.
is how you make it back to your boat with a deer and a one-man kayak. A one-man inflatable kayak. Yeah. I'm just going to sit on top of that and hopefully I don't fall in. Made it. Now it's just how do I unload? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Stacy mate, these glasses are mean. Yeah well. Left Herbal Island now, sort of left a few hours ago. Um, did a little bit of sailing for a while, but I was only doing like three knots, so I flipped the engine on. I'm doing about five knots, sort of right where I want to go, so that's pretty cool. Should get to Adele Island in a couple of hours. Um, so the, the, my plan is to spend the night there and then head to Motueka tomorrow. I should get the tide in the afternoon, um, but we'll just see how it all works out. It's, it's due to start blowing tomorrow, and um, I, don't, I don't know about crossing the bar when it's real windy. But uh, yeah, I mean, the sun's come out. It's pretty calm weather, doing good speed. It's yeah, it's, life is pretty good right now. Picked up the afternoon sea breeze and now I'm sailing. Woo! Oh, I love it. Yeah, so I was just sitting around the boat. Just got up, walked outside, I haven't even had a, like a cup of coffee or anything yet, and I just saw this school of kingfish swimming around the boat, and I was like, sweet. So I got my spear gun out, had a go at one, missed it, and was like, oh, well, that was all kind of fun and games, and I'll go and have my cup of coffee. Just put the kettle on, poked my head out, and there they were again. So I poked the spear gun in the water again, and one swam right up to it. So I was like, sweet, I'll have you, buddy. Nailed it. Shit, it's a romper. This is the biggest king I've ever had, and I didn't even get my hair wet. <laughs> Holy shit, check it out.